All right, time's now 448. Let's get back over to Peyton. Yeah, we are tracking Hurricane Ian this morning. The 4 a.m. advisory has this thing on the cusp of a Category 4. It's a strong Cat 3. Sustained winds 125, and it's made landfall over the western tip of Cuba there. And uh, you can see getting some outer bands already in South Florida. So South Florida is already seeing some impacts. Well, that's going to continue to increase over the next several days. There's the eye clear as day being picked up by our radars out of Key West. It's going to continue to move to the north. It'll be back in the Gulf in the next two hours or so, and then re-intensive or continued strengthening is expected, and it's probably going to reach its height intensity later today into tonight. Notice Cat 4, 140 mile per hour there, 130, and it may do something in between there. And then notice as it starts to make that turn up towards western Florida by Wednesday into Thursday, yes, the wind's coming down, but still could be a major hurricane making landfall anywhere from about Tampa down to Fort Myers. There's still uncertainty on how this turn is going to play out. So where that landfall is it's going to determine who sees the highest winds, who sees the highest storm surge. If you're near the center or south of it, that's where the storm surge is going to be highest. If you're north of that center, that's where the storm surge will hopefully be lower, but it's just a close call for especially for the Tampa area and down towards Fort Myers. Notice slowing down as well. So from Wednesday to Thursday afternoon, it only travels from right off the coast to just near Orlando. So this is going to be a prolonged event, prolonged surge, prolonged rain, and could bring some prolonged um, winds as well. Here's a look at the storm surge potential for Florida anywhere from Tampa and right now the center line goes up right up through Tampa Bay 5 to 10 feet down towards Sarasota. Now if that eye stays just to the north we may see 4 to 7 in Fort Myers but if that eye shifts a little further to the south your numbers could go up in Fort Myers so there's still some uncertainty and I hope all the people in those evacuation zones that have been ordered to evacuate evacuate get out because the water is nothing to play with here. Rainfall total slow moving storm some guidance pinning out 15 to 20 20 inches of rainfall somewhere near that center as it stalls and slows down near the coast. So not only storm uh, surge threat here, but also a flooding threat along with some winds and, you know, tornadoes in those outer bands.